While we're on our way towards what I've de- where I've decided to go, which is our jackal den, we've come across a pair of, I would say, sparring zebra. It's almost at the point that it's a serious fight, but they have been kicking and biting each other. Not, it's not as serious or as violent as some of the zebra fights I've witnessed. But what's very apparent is just how often they go for the really vulnerable bits. And these are two young males, and they've been scrapping, chasing each other around. And then one of them runs away with tail tucked down between its legs to try and protect itself. And of course, as we want to show you, they stop because that's relatively inevitable when filming live wildlife. Oh, is that an injury on that zebra in front there, Dave? Should we see if we can... Yeah. Is that an injury? Looks like one. Oh, yes, that is definitely an injury. Ouch. That, judging by the scrape marks down the side of it, I would say is one very lucky escape from a lion. You can almost guarantee an injury of that nature. Sometimes when you see zebras with missing tails or really bad bruised wounds and broken skin, it can actually be from fights like the one that we've just witnessed. Zebra are angry animals. They scrap all the time. They kick, they bite, and they're not gentle to the foals either. If a foal follows the wrong female, she'll kick it, she'll bite it. But in that case, I suspect that that's, that cut came from a lion. Because you can actually, I think you can actually see where the claws have scraped down. Now, whilst that looks really rather painful, it's not hampering the zebra in any way, and it just looks like a flesh wound, actually. And the resilience of these creatures, that zebra is probably going to be absolutely fine. What will be interesting is the way in which that wound heals. It's going to heal, and the zebra will always have slightly skew stripes. I'm going to get a little bit closer. So the stripes will heal out of alignment. And you can always see the, the, the survivors of a predator attack by looking at the way that their stripes are slightly misaligned. Sorry, buddy. Don't mind me. You're not going to. That's good. Marco, you would like to know how many stripes a zebra has. Marco, I'm going to provide you with an amazing opportunity here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to park next to a zebra, side on, once this chap shifts out of my way. We're going to park side on to a zebra. You can take a screenshot, you can take a count, and you can tell me exactly how many stripes a zebra has. Here we go. Perfect opportunity. What do you think, Dave? Now, don't forget, Marco, to count the, the tiny stripes on the legs. You mustn't miss those out. And then, of course, deciding what is a separate stripe might also be a bit tricky, but I'll leave that up to your discretion. Don't forget the stripes on the tail as well. Yep, there you go. An opportunity presents itself, Marco. I've got absolutely no idea how many stripes a zebra has. I, I confess to never having counted them. I will tell you that probably every zebra has a different number of stripes because every zebra is uniquely patterned as unique as a human being's fingerprint. So everyone is different, completely unique. I'm gonna give you the opportunity to count the zebra stripes and while you do that, you can go and enjoy the sunrise with Tristan.